In this application, we're going to look at using the Acuity AP820-400 model. And here you can see we've got it just on a little manual stand. And you can see the laser line across the table surface here. And we've got a, about a approximately about a three millimeter thick uh, metal target that we're going to look at. And so what we're going to look at is how can we measure the width, the length, and the squareness of this using laser lines. And with three to four laser lines, we can accomplish this. So let's go ahead and look at the results of using a single laser line. And we'll explain how we can do this. So here you, here you can see the profile going across the metal target surface. And here, of course, is the wooden desk. And this is the metal surface. As you can see, I'm moving it. It's actually giving us a, a height or a thickness and also a location in the, in the two planes. Uh, and so we're, we're, we decided to use the APA 20-400 for the standoff in the range. So this will have a, this will measure from 21.7 inches out to, excuse me, this will measure from 13 inches out to approximately 28 inches from the face of the laser sensor. And, and we should be able to get a, a resolution in Z of, of approximately, call it 10 thousandths of an inch. Uh, and, and the accuracy should be pretty close to that also. Accuracy, we're probably looking accuracy about 10 thousandths of an inch also. So, so the way that we could use multiple lasers is if we were to, if we were to present the laser at about a 45 degree angle to the target surface, you can see when that first edge crosses, right? So there, there it's crossing on the stage here. And it's, it's also giving us position and the direction. So if we had, if we had a second laser coming across this surface in this direction, we would be able to determine these two points and the points over here, which would give us a plane. And then if we had a third or fourth laser back on the same thing, coming across here, it would define uh, the plane and space of that target, which would give us the length, the width, and we could calculate squareness by, by knowing if that sensor is coming in, I mean, if the target's coming in at, at, at different angles. So just a kind of a real quick video to show you how this would, how, how the laser line can capture the different, the different uh, positions of targets. And here you can see we'll even put in a, this is 40 thousandths of an inch. And it, it will give you an idea of the resolutions that we're getting. This is roughly 5 millimeters or 0.2 inches. And we're actually capturing these surfaces fairly well. So by using laser lines, we can define the plane of the target, which will give us the length, the width, and the squareness of that target.